This presentation is going to examine Chebyshev's theorem, another tool to help us understand what the standard deviation represents. So our fundamental question is what does a standard deviation mean or what does a standard deviation of 10 mean? So in our example here we are going to assume that the mean is 100 and we are going to assume that the standard deviation is 10. For the sake of the discussion, let's assume that this is mu, or a parameter of 100, sigma, a parameter of 10, representing an entire population, rather than simply representing a sample. The empirical rule can be used if the data set is normally distributed. As we saw earlier, if we have a bell-shaped curve, we expect 68% of the data to fall within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% of the data to fall within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7% of the data to fall within three standard deviations of the mean. But in general, it's not fair to assume data is normally distributed. In that case, we have to use Chebyshev's theorem, which says the following. For a k greater than 1, we expect at least 1 minus 1 over k squared of the data to be within k standard deviations of the mean. For k equals 2, we expect 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, 1 minus a quarter or 3 quarters of the data to be within two standard deviations of the mean. What I want to emphasize is at least. For two standard deviations of the mean, we expect at least 3 quarters of the data to be within two standard deviations of the mean. Recall for the empirical rule, it was 95%. So 95% of the data was within two standard deviations of the mean. That does not contradict Chebyshev because Chebyshev says at least three quarters, and of course 95% is at least three quarters. For k equals three, we have one minus one over three squared, one minus a ninth or eight ninths of the data. So for k equals three, we expect at least eight ninths of the data to be within three standard deviations of the mean. In the empirical rule, we said 99.7% is 8 ninths at least 99.7%? It sure is. So again, that does not contradict the rule that we did with the empirical rule. In our example, we have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. We are not going to assume normality. Therefore, we're going to use Chebyshev's theorem. So if we have k equals 2, we expect at least 3 fourths of the data to be within two standard deviations of the mean. Mean is 100, standard deviation is 10, so we expect at least three-fourths of the data to be between 80 and 120. For k equals 3, 3 times 10, 3 standard deviations, 3 times 10 is 30, 100 minus 30 is 70, 100 plus 30 is 130. We expect at least 8 ninths of the data to be within three standard deviations of the mean. At least 8 ninths of the data should be between, should be between 70 and 130. So let's go ahead and change the problem a little bit. And this time we're going to look at a chi-square 10 distribution. A chi-square 10 distribution is not normally distributed. I would like to have an approximation for the mean and for the standard deviation of a chi-square 10 distribution. To do that, I need a very, very large data set. The larger the n, the closer the statistics are to the parameters. So I'm going to do 1 million numbers in chi-square 10 look at the mean and look at the standard deviation. We had a mean of 9.9991 and a standard deviation of 4.4752. Those are both statistics. If you do the same mini tab commands, your numbers will be slightly different. However, since I have a million, I'm fairly confident that those numbers, those statistics are close to the parameters. For that reason, I say mu is approximately 10 and sigma is approximately 4.475. And what do we want to do? We want to use that information to check to see whether or not Chebyshev's theorem applies. So Chebyshev tells us at least three-fourths of the data lies within two standard deviations of the mean. So our mean was 10, and our standard deviation was 4.475. So we are looking um, between numbers 1.05 and 18.95. And we'll see just how many numbers are within that value. So our question, what portion of the data lies between 1.05 and 18.95? So we want to generate a sample 
from a chi-square 10 distribution. A million is too many to work with, so we're just going to use 10,000 numbers from a chi-square 10, and we are going to count how many of them are between 1.05 and 18.95. The command is random 10,000 C1 semicolon chi-square 10. This generates 10,000 numbers from the chi-square 10 distribution. I want to put those in order, so the command will be sort C1, C2, and that puts those in order. And then our question is, how many of them are between 1.05 and 18.95? Looking at our list, the first number more than 1.05 is number 3. So I'm going to make a quick note up there that the first is number 3, the third one on the list. And the last is, we want to find the last one less than or equal to 18.95. So how far do we have to go? To find out how far we have to go to get to 18.95. A somewhat tedious process. We're up to 17. Up to 18. And you'll notice the last one under 18.95 is 95.60. So the last is number 95.60. And we have to figure out um, how many that is. And we can actually let Minitab do that for us. We can say let k1, that's a constant, equal 95.60 minus 3 plus 1. If you have the first and last number in the list, that's how you would do it and uh, print K1 and it tells us that we have 9558 so we have 9558 out of 10,000 which is 0.9558 which is certainly at least three quarters of the data so our first example, more than 95%, again, certainly at least three quarters of the data, so it satisfies the conditions of Chebyshev's theorem. If we go to three standard deviations, that should be at least eight-ninths. At least eight-ninths of the data should lie within three standard deviations. So 10 minus 3 times 4.475, 10 plus 3 times 4.475. So we need to see how many lie between negative 3.425 and 23, 0.425. And looking at our data, you can see that there are no negative numbers. Our smallest number is 0 0.9610. So there are no numbers in the negative range. Now if we go up to the high range, we are looking for how many are in the area of 23 or higher. And there are a few, I believe, but we'll see just how few there are. And we are now up around 23.42. We wanted to see how many were more than 23.425. That'll be the bad ones. Or less than 23.425. That would be the good ones. So as we go back, how many less than 23.425? 9,900. So we have 9,900. Or 99% within three standard deviations, certainly that's at least eight-ninths. So again, this satisfies the conditions of Chebyshev's theorem.